both born at the same time in the early 1940s when the construction of Kingsley Dam was completed. Lake McConaughey and Lake Ogallala are littermates, but definitely not twins. Lake Ogallala is just right below the dam from Lake McConaughey. It's located about eight miles north of the town of Ogallala. You follow Highway 61 north out of Ogallala, just like you're going to Lake McConaughey. You come across the dam on McConaughey and take a hard right. You can drive right down to Lake Ogallala in the shadow of Kingsley Dam. Lake McConaughey is the bigger of the two, covering about 35,000 surface acres and offering over 70 miles of sandy beaches, while Lake Ogallala, affectionately called the Little Lake, is, of course, smaller, with only about 320 acres. But make no mistake, although it's smaller than its larger sibling, the lake's still large enough to have plenty of fun on it as well. Kayaking and paddle sports are a great way to get out and enjoy the day, whether you're going out just to paddle for fun or another way to get out and get to the fish. You can have a great time enjoying the calm waters and enjoying nature, enjoying the sounds and the sights. Despite the fact that the sun sets about one to two hours early on Lake Ogallala, being shadowed in the afternoon by the towering Kingsley Dam to the west, the Little Lake offers the unique advantage of being protected from high winds. And it seems somewhat tranquil when compared to its larger sibling. Nevertheless, it's a perfect destination for all kinds of water activities. This area provides such a great mixed bag of fishing uh, between the Little Lake and the Big Lake. There are just so many species you can fish for in this area. Uh, the Little Lake, Lake Ogallala, is known primarily for its trout, but just about anything that's in the Big Lake can be found in the Little Lake. And if the wind's blowing, it's a good place to get a little shelter from the wind and just have a good time fishing by yourself or with the family. And if you're doing it right, you might even catch some fish to go with it. Lake Ogallala and the waters down there, you can almost always find some place where you can catch the trout without a boat. And you can still sneak down then on you know what they call the little lake and get out of the wind. And the waters down there are uh, trout water because of the cold water releases from Lake McConaughey. So it's really good rainbow trout fishery. We got a handful of cutthroats and uh, brown trout down there too that you might catch. As you can see, no matter the time of year, there's always some fishing available in Keith County, Nebraska, and it's many bodies of water, whether it be on lakes, reservoirs, or rivers. Generally in early April, uh, March, April is uh, really good if you're a fly fisherman that uh, fish the north end of Lake Ogallala. Uh, you can uh, use anything that mimics uh, midge flies because that's generally when the midge flies start hatching and uh, you catch good, 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 real good trout down there. Uh, the, during the summer, sometimes it, it's not very good. A little warmer water comes out of the uh, Lake McConaughey, but then, then in the fall again, in September, October, November, uh, you got real good uh, trout fishing again. We have no close season on fishing in Nebraska. Um, and literally, we have no close seasons, you can fish 12 months out of the year, and I do. Most every year I fish every month. Um, here at Lake Ogallala and Lake McConaughey, um, you can fish, you can go down on the little lake, Lake Ogallala, and catch trout any month of the year, including right through the winter. Um, they'll catch fish down there, including catching them through the ice if we get a cold winter, but ice conditions can be iffy on both Lake Ogallala and McConaughey. And then as soon as the ice goes out, um, I mentioned we got a decent pike population McConaughey right now. They catch some of them right after the ice is gone. And then that rolls right into um, 1st of April, somewhere in there, maybe a little later than that. We get the walleyes up on the dam and guys are chasing them during the spawn period. And then I think after that's when the walleye fishing get, really gets good on in May and June, 
I'm gonna get some white bass and, and the hybrid stripers or wipers early spring. And then right into summer, you can continue to catch walleyes in June and July, it gets really hot. Um, the white bass and wipers and the channel cats will still bite during the summer. And then fall, um, we usually get a good bite for big fish, big walleyes, some big wipers. And like I said, I love going down on Ogallala and the river and the canal and catching trout in the fall too. The main fish down in Lake Ogallala is the trout. And Lake Ogallala is a very uh, well-known lake to catch trout in Nebraska. And there's also a lot of people from Colorado come out here to, uh, to fish for those uh, rainbow trout. For more information about fishing on Lake McConaughey, Lake Ogallala, or on the North Platte River, please visit ilovelakemac.com and book a vacation in one of the many Ogallala hotels for your next amazing Western Insider memory.